Blue Ox Productions presents. So I'm re reassembling the steering damper and I'm getting ready to put the oil in. And I decided to go with a uh, 40 weight oil. And this is a uh, silicone, 100% silicone based um, oil. Uh, the company on the bottle says Team Losi Racing. I bought it uh, online for about uh, seven bucks. Um, there's four ounces in this bottle. This should be enough to do three to four steering damper rebuilds. And so basically what I have done with my damper now is I've gotten this part back together. Uh, um, this seal mechanism uh, that sits on the end is inside here. And I got my uh, end on with the blue Loctite. And you can hear it, the air in there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that rod all the way down and I'm going to fill that tube up with oil uh, not quite all the way maybe about two-thirds of the way and then I am going to slowly pump it until the oil gets on the other side of that middle slider piece that that sits in the middle of the rods because that slides inside the tube and you want to continue to do this until you get to the point where the slider piece is all the way, the rod is all the way this end, and when you go to pull it back, there's no air bubble at all. You'll feel it. It'll be, the, the pull will be stiff all the way through. Um, as you fill this up and you work the oil through, you'll feel like a, like an open spot, like an air pocket. So you'll know there's still air in there, but you'll go back and forth until the point. Now, when you do this too, is you want to make sure that you're at the, it makes it a lot easier if you are at the, um, the lowest, uh, the lowest setting possible on the, on the damper adjustment, uh, which I guess would be number one. So I'm going to start putting some oil in there and then moving it back and forth. Well, I have it uh, close and when you're pumping this, you want to make sure you do it slowly or you'll have a mess. Um, the only reason I'm doing it on the, uh, kitchen table is because Mrs. Collierolato is not home. Um, this is probably a task best left in the garage, but I wanted to do a video. There, I got it all the way down. Now you slowly pump it this way. And if there's air in it, when you get to the bottom, you'll hear it gurgle a little bit. And you want to do it until you don't hear it gurgling anymore. And it's a smooth travel all the way through. And also when you get done is you should have just a little bit of oil on top of that uh, slider piece where you can see the snap ring down inside there. Uh, but maybe just about a sixteenth of an inch of oil will be on this side. I'm not quite there yet, but just a little bit more and I'll be done. Um, you know you have too much if you go to put it back together and this piece along with the cap doesn't go down all the way in. Because uh, you can see you can't have uh, really any oil between this piece and the and the slider piece because it sits on top of that. If you do, you won't get all the way in. You just dab a little bit of the oil out. But I'm going to continue to pump this and uh, get it back together. Okay, I got it to where there's no air left in there. I have just a little bit of oil sitting on top. I might have a little bit too much in there. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, this piece goes back in. Uh, the large O-ring goes in first. And that uh, uh, seal will go on top. So you slide that over. And if you can't get that to snap down in there, you probably have uh, uh, too much oil in there. So then I'm going to put the lid on. And then uh, start screwing it in and see if I can get it all the way in. <laughs> 